So anyway, where were we? <laughs> oh boy. I go this way, yeah. Okay, that creates a whip platform. Okay. Yeah, the autosave seems pretty uh, common. Seems like it autosaves quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. I Miyabi, mean, the the soundtrack got a full a full redo as well. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to my whip. <laughs> you could be fighting him, girl. Oh god, she just stands there. It's got like a pseudo real time combat system. Um, you, you're sort of turn, turn locked in the sense that you have to wait for your stuff to charge up. And it's not like if you attack something and it's right there and your animation hits it, you hit it. There's still, it's quirky. It's a quirky one. It's very, it's very different. Oh, she got pygmy, pygmy, pygmied. Okay. Bonker with a hammer. There we go. Nice. Good crit. I seem to have lost my companion, though. Where's, where's the sprite? Bucks, just like I got back when I was in prison. It's good that she has unlimited range on her spells because she's fucked off to another room. That whip, though, just like embarrassing lack of accuracy. There she is. Hey, girl. Let's go through here. What's in here first? Oh, nothing. Right, so it is. I'm ready. Yeah, like there's some there's some good things, there's some bad things, like if you like Secret of Mana, you probably won't dig it very much, but like once you get into the swing of it, uh, it's not, I don't know, the, aside from the like game crashing bugs, that's been a problem, but aside from that, I would say it's pretty, it's pretty tolerable. Like it's a game from the 90s and they didn't really change anything about the way it plays. No, I think accuracy isn't about anything I'm doing, I think accuracy is uh, how armored is the enemy? I think that's all that miss stat does. Like, I, I literally, I don't think, I don't think there's anything like... Because when you want to hit an enemy more easily, you, um... You can use something that slows their speed down or, like, reduces their armor. Okay, this is... I feel like a lot is obfuscated from from view in the game. Yeah, there's like an attack versus defense check.
Ok. So now we gotta run back to the beginning or near it, because we opened that other door. Move, nerd. No, nothing over here. I like these knights, they're not too hard to kill. Yeah, I'm sure mastery of the weapon has something to do with it. I think charging the attacks changes your accuracy. But then sometimes, I, I, I don't know. Not so much. Evade into hit both go up with level. Okay, that makes sense. Back my robot son. Um, it is, right? Yeah. It's my favorite thing about it. I think it's pretty. Cute little kind of plastic looking figurine type characters. Digging it. Okay. So I think I go this way. Nope. How do I, how the hell, where do I go? Because we opened that door. Oh yeah, no, there it is, okay. I just need to switch to, uh, switch to the ax. There's almost nothing grave about those bats. They're just like kind of cute, actually. <laughs> Whoa. Leap of faith. It's kind of cool. AI is really bad. They should be fighting him. I guess if I whipped them first, they would have started that fight. There you go. Yeah. All right. And then I gotta, I gotta remember to un shrinkify her. I think that crit might have been the highest damage we've done so far. No, see, you you can't actually change their AI that much. You can only tell them who to attack and when. It used to be it used to be way way more complex in the Super Nintendo version, but they've they've changed it uh, to um, to be more limited. Now all you can do is say, attack whoever I'm attacking, or help each other, or help me. But that's about it. Oh my god, stop. 
There is still like a bit of a stun locking problem for some enemies in some situations, but it's not that. I've had it, I've had it frustrating me a couple of times, but. Not so bad. No, they're not on defensive AI, they just have, I'll show you, I'll show you. So, I can't, I can't do much with it, right? Like I go, uh, action grid, that's it. Attack the same target, assist Prim, assist Popoy, attack enemies not targeted by allies, and then how hard you use the gauge. That is it. It's bad. By comparison, at least. And it just means they're they're very stupid. I shade will test you. Oh, okay, hi. Um, what? You're a big blob thing? That I'm inside of? Okay, one damage. Good. The lime slime. Uh, let's. Okay. Uh, Sylphid. Analyzer, go. Oh, that's why it's the lime slime. Are you weak to anything? Salamando. All right, we're gonna do it then. Unless I just die from evil gate. Oh shit, does his weakness change? Is this one of those bosses? Oh, I bet it is, depending on the color. Yep, not so lime after all. Okay, now he's blue, so maybe it's lightning that he's weak to. Or air blast or whatever. Fuck. Nope. <laughs> Hey, there we go. That worked out good. Yeah, he's got definitely getting smaller as we fight him. That's fun. I like that. The, I like that the boss is changing shape while I womp on him. That's fun. I mean, honestly, I could just keep whipping him. It would probably work just as well as trying to keep up with whatever his elemental weakness is. Yeah, it's like a kind of weird fakey action RPG. It's pretty strange. So I guess red maybe is the one that's weak to air? I don't I super don't know. Alright, let's so use, uh, I don't know, Earth Slide on him. See what that does. Nothing. Oops. 
not. I hate when I do that by accident. I switch the. I switch the thing around. Uh, okay, let me go back and change her ability. Nope, pink. There we go. Pretty much always want to keep the healing on for her. There we go. <laughs> I guess I get shade magic after this, which is good. Well, the thing is, they, they don't really stand around while... Oh, you mean that the, my allies stand around while I charge? Yes, it's really dumb. Yeah. But that's okay. Let's see. Let's see what we get now that we beat this guy. I think... Javelin orb? Okay. Yeah, there we go. Hey, buddy. Oh, look at him. He's so small and creepy. I am Shade, spirit of darkness and elemental of mana. Long ago, I was known as King of Mavolia, mm. the underworld. But I was sealed here. The King of the Underworld is a little floating eyeball. You have lifted said seal. Take my powers as your reward. Don't mind if I do. So that's what four now? No five. This is our fifth, our fifth one of eight. So we got three more to go. Yeah. Wait, I don't have shape. This is probably like a cutscene or some shit first. Party returns to the lofty mountains to ask about Jock. But seriously, can we? Can I use my new spells and stuff? Ah, there he is. There's Shade. Shade. We got Evil Gate, Dark Force. And dispel magic. Womp. Oh, it only does one damage. That didn't work out very well. And then I guess she'll be able to give us... Um... Like dark swords or whatever as the, the buff. Probably like a negative status effect one, something like that. Yeah, it is a it's a cute choice that they made the mini map up top uh, out of the maps from the original. It's pretty good. I see a fish stick. Thanks for hanging out. Cat. I love special deal for just save my game and let me move on. Here we go.
I, I am really thankful that we've reached the point in the game where the resurrection items aren't like ridiculously expensive. Like I have enough money that I can pick those up, at least for now. Um, and that's nice. That's a that's a big that's a a big uh, quality of life improvement. Bye, savvy. Okay, is the sage in here? Or yes, no, no, yes. Oops. Nope. Yeah, here we go. You may not enter. <coughs> No way. He left for Gold Isle. It's not far if you fly. Gold Isle is to the northeast of here, in the middle of the ocean. Of course it is. Sure. Why not? <laughs> go and meet this sage. Oh, he's not here. Do this dungeon. Okay, go to a different place. He's over there. Motherfucker, give me a magical cell phone. Whatever, I got a dragon with human hair, so. Is that Gold Isle? No, that's Turtle Shell Island. Gold Isle is kind of in the middle of things. Um, there it is. The Gold Tower. It's locked. Okay, all right. Hi. Beyond is the Golden Tower. No one besides King Mammon may enter. Oh, Mammon. That sounds like a bad dude. This is the abode of King Mammon. The first floor is a hotel. King Mammon li The king lives in a hotel. This is Gold City on the Empire's Gold Isle. Everything's made of gold. This whole island is made of gold. That's what I just said. <laughs> Where did King Mammon find all this gold? He got it from his machine. Let's see, chat's making the same jokes. Well, no one was using this place, so. <laughs> hey, Watts. Look me up, buddy. I've been waiting. Which weapon is ready? Anymore, I think I just got the one. Yeah, I got the one in between. Don't tell anyone this cafe is a front for the resistance. Welcome. Not much to see here. It's been too long since I had customers. When I'm actually an old man, I'm just gonna do old man voice all the time and just pretend like it's my real voice. Like that's what old Everyone people actually talk about. Like. I'm jealous. Cha gross. Just to justify all my use of continued old man voice as a as a young person. You didn't hear it from me. But this island has started sinking into the sea under the weight of all that gold. Wow. The... Many have fled to ice country to escape. Yep. <laughs> Makes sense. Living here is as expensive as you'd think. Why? <laughs> Just, like, scrape some stuff off the ground. There's... Whatever. Welcome. Um, all right, stock up on chocolate. Stock up on walnuts. Anything else? Yeah, sorry, dude. Uh, stock up on a couple of wishes. Damn, unicorn, dragon, or duck helmet. I really wish I could see the stats on this shit before I buy it, but holy Christ, that battle suit is expensive. Fuck. Anything else? Woo! Come again. Ooh. 
That is some top tier expensive ass shit right there. Uh, I'm gonna have to sell a bunch of this crap. All right, here, put on this. Another bathing suit for her item. I don't, not feeling it. See what I can buy. Welcome. What'll it be? Anything else? Yeah, dude, I need to buy some more armor. No, I cannot afford more armor. Okay, well let's buy what's the best helm? Let's buy this duck helm. Anything else? Come again. Wow, that's a big upgrade for her. A tiger suit and a duck helm. Okay, yeah, why not? Why the fuck not? I guess that could be a thing that we do. Sure. Night is 200 ass gold. Why is everything getting more expensive? Bastards. Nothing beats cannon travel. What's up? Just remembering the thrill of being shot straight into the air. I could get used to that. You remember the part it where you died on. instantly? Or? Can we go back to the cannons again tomorrow? Can we? Sure, if it's on the way. There's no need to use cannon travel all the time. We should save money when we can. She's got a point. Aw, spoil sport. Do you have something against cannons? No, no, no. And I'm definitely not afraid of them. If that's what you mean. Oh, prove it. Let's go for a cannon ride tomorrow. <sighs> These conversations are... Fine. are I'll go anywhere you pick. <sighs> An unnecessary <laughs> add-on. <laughs> something wrong, bro? What's up, beard of pirate? Hello. What about the money? Welcome. Thank you. My pride is more important than money. What are we waiting for? Uh-oh. I awoke the witch within. Will you quit calling me a witch? Let's get some rest. I wonder if we can get Gemma to pay our way again. Like, yeah, it just feels like kind of asinine. And I, I wish that they would, I wish that they would make like... Uh, they would make those conversations like revealing or interesting or relevant, but they they kind of come across as like real fillery because they don't they don't add anything because they're brand they're, they're sort of brand new to the game. Like I I think they just added these for the remake, so they can't really add anything that's relevant. So they kind of just have to be like kind of infantile babble. Oh, also the king lives on the top floor. I want a gold necklace, a gold ring, maybe a gold bracelet, and let's see. We came to see if King Mammon will give us some gold. Uh -huh. Wait, oh, this went back downstairs. Okay. Okay. King Mammon. This island is the richest place in the world. Which is why you live in an inn. Alchemists can turn rocks into gold as easy as pie. But first, you have to learn the old mana arts. You follow? Gold. Gold. And it's all mine. Mine, I tell ya. Yeah. That's it? Gold. Came all the way up here for that. Pfft, normal size motherfucker thinks it's so cool. And talking about gold, I don't care.
Right now, Shade isn't on the list again. What is happening? Yeah, where did my... What? What the... What the fuck? Uh, I'm not, like, I'm not missing something, am I? Like, I used to have five of these, r right? Did, cause, oh, okay, shade, okay. Oh, that that scared me. Shade just only Shade just only has abilities for one character. Oh, that totally makes sense. Okay, I bet you that uh, Luna or the other one, like Lumina, yeah, is only gonna give it to the other uh, to uh, to Charlene. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that totally makes sense. Okay, so this is this is locked, and I can't I can't go in here. Hey, Zarabora. Uh, I can't go in here, so the the, the dude is around here Living somewhere. Here is a... But then he said like a lot of people left for Ice Island or whatever, right? So, so maybe he I don't know, maybe he's not in town in the town. Let's go let's see if we can leave town the other direction. Is there like a gate out or Oh hey. No, I yeah, yeah, that's Watts, right? It's the gold. Okay. I thought it might be a different shop, but I forgot that that was that. Okay, uh... The island's sinking, people are leaving to go to the other place. The king has nothing to say except gold, gold! Beyond is the golden tower. Yeah, I can't go to the golden tower. Because shit's locked. I mean, this seems either promising or a complete waste of time. The tower at the edge of town used to be known as the Light Palace until King Mammon sealed it. The tower key was stolen by a spy from Tasnica, but they caught him before he left South Town. So where is he now? Never did find that key, though. I wonder what they keep in that tower. Okay, so ta Tasnica, I guess. There. Tasnica is eleven on this old ass map. Okay. South west of here. I guess that's what she's got in that box. Yeah. Oh no, but it's a Tazenkin spy, but uh, in Southtown. That's right. There. So that's actually north mm, west from me, like quite a ways off. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, wait, I just flew around. Uh, let me see. South Town is one of these? Oh, that's North Town. Okay. Ostensibly, South Town is down here. There it is. Alright, let's go find the spy lady. She lived up here somewhere, right? Hi. The Empire's troops caught. Here it is. I've been keeping it safe in this box. She looks like if you took the protagonist from Attack on Titan and made him really, really old. She has the same haircut and My weird scraggly face. My gave his life for this key. 
I think he'd rest easier knowing that it wasn't for nothing. Here, it's yours. Don't let the Empire get away with this. All right, cool tower key. Not bad, not bad. Well, that's good. Uh, I would have probably spent a long time. I guess, so there's a lot of talking to NPCs in this game that to like help you figure out puzzles. There. All right, so back to Goldsburg uh, in the middle of the ocean. Where is that bad boy? It's the Turtle Shell Island. Lighthouse. North, basically, of here, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay. I like that the fucking Flammy leaves contrails. Hey, idiot, we got a key to your stupid castle thing. Let's, we're gonna go in and... Ah, wolves! Oh good, one damage. Oh, there's zombies. That's disappointing. It's just like more enemies that were from the last area. Take that. Let's do this. Evil death. Twenty damage. Okay, so it's clear that even though we just got it, Shade is not a very useful. Thing to have in it. So uh, let's switch back to good old fireball. Which I guess we missed with. Okay, sure. Oh wow, level five whip is really bad. Okay, that's fine, we'll just remember not to use it. Boss music. I was to say, I don't see the boss. There he is. It's another recolor. Uh, all right, Charlene. Let's have you analyze the boss, please. Even the same like structure, like two pillars for the boss to stand on. Okay. 
I think we should just be able to hit him, and then I'll hit him with magic when he's up on the platforms. Or I won't, I guess. Oh, she's out of, she's out of mana. That's why. There's like a weirdness of targeting too. Like targeting, uh, sometimes you can't, like if someone is in the middle of an animation, it'll not let you target them for healing. And like things like that, where it's like, she died. And I'm like, nope, she sure didn't. A lot of weird little technical things that I'm finding frustrating about the game. Oh my Jesus, we just blew that guy's head off. Yikes! Hey, Frezzer. Oh, also, I can't, I can't trigger someone else's attacks while I'm charging my own. That's an item I was using. I was using the boomerang for quite a while. I think the whip still might be my best weapon, though. Nice. Axe Orb 2. I used the axe a lot early on, but I switched away from it. No, so the orbs, you don't equip them. Uh, you turn them in at the smith, and he uses them like a mat to upgrade your weapon. Yeah, so um, it's it's less about uh, equipping them and more, um, they're like a special material. Yeah. Hello, time distance shielding. Apparently this is the boss rush dungeon. Nope, she's in a little animation, so she can't do anything. All right, we're gonna figure out what this guy's weak to, if anything. Silphid, okay. Silphid. Let's try air blast. There we go. Oh, 
This should be easy enough to do then, because he's he's only got 2,000 hit points. Also, I love this guy's outfit. Like, the flood pants and his weird sandals and his, like, harness. Oh, good. And we got still for the level four. Nice excuse to spam that stuff. And then we recovered all our uh, health and magic points because of a uh, level up. Excellent. Yeah, we're killing this tower. Though it is very much a, a fantasy RPG tower. Like, go up, do a level, fight a boss. Do a level, fight a boss. As we climb, I forgot it was a tower. And then I'm like, okay, I understand why it's like this. I understand why it's structured this way. Okay, all right, so hopefully we don't have too many more of these to go. Oh yeah, here we go, all right. So that's number six. I'm Luna, the light elemental. King Mammon was robbing me of my power. Like a blueberry cotton candy with earrings. He forced me to use mana for his own benefit. I'm sorry, you can create gold from nothing? Uh, yeah, no, we'll be your friends. The gold he's created will turn to stone one day. I hope that everyone's greed will disappear along with it. I mean, that's not how that works. It's just that you're going to screw over the last person to end up with the gold. Please take my powers before the world falls to the evil of the mana vultures. Lumina! Okay, so Lumina, I'm guessing, yeah, see... Lumina is only for Holy Saber, Lucid Barrier, and Lucent Beam. Uh, is only for Charlene. Cool. So that means Luna is the last one? Before we kind of get into, I guess, end game or back half of game. Synchronized with the Mana Seed. And with that done... The party heads for the lofty mountains. Okay, well, let's just get out of here and I think we'll call it. We'll call it a night. This is just going to be a short one to begin with. And we'll finish it off tomorrow. Not the game, but this section. Yeah, let me just go save and go to town. Yeah, I think we're like halfway through, maybe a little more. I don't remember the game being that long. Well, no one was you. I've been waiting. Well, upgrade my shit. Well, that one's cool. Got anything else? Titan boomerang. Great bow. Halberd. And we're good. Okay. The story in this game seems one night is two hundred. It seems really shallow. Like I keep waiting for the kind of deeper stuff to happen, or like a more interesting or more evolved plot. But maybe there isn't one for now. I don't know. I guess we'll. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> 